right, so if you missed the last video, the Camaro was up on the hoist because the transmission had no gears. It had park and four neutrals. We got it ripped out of there, took it to the guy that rebuilds all of our transmissions, and he got it back together real quickly. So we're going to throw the car back together again and hopefully drive it out of the garage. We'll see. Yeah, I blew out every line, not a drip came out anywhere. Oh yeah, they were all bone dry. Yeah, this thing never pumped a bit. I'll get these exhausts welded up real quick. and Because at my place I wasn't able to reach these and I didn't have ambition to really do it. Uh, so I'm going to do it now, that way while we're doing everything else we can get good and burnt on these. <laughs> Not the worst I've ever done. That's from an exhaust shop, I'm assuming. I'm not gonna take credit or blame for that. All right, start hoofing her back together? Yeah. <laughs> the sooner we do that, the sooner we can get it off the hoist. Well, I was just wondering about that fill tube. We ought to take that bolt out, put that thing back on it, move it down to a, like here. Well, it won't work on um, those. No, because it's supposed to bolt right there yeah. where there isn't one. Oh. So. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. All right, so transmission's in, lines are all hooked up, torque converter's bolted up, drive shaft's in, mount is in, exhaust is welded and bolted up. He is fighting with the uh, dipstick tube right now. After that, I think we'll be able to put fluid in it put it on a charger and see if it goes into gear. I think he's trying to modify something that doesn't need to be modified. When he took that off the car, it worked perfectly. He unbolted it and he can't get it back into place so now he's modifying it. I think the only thing I'm worried about is if those training lines are tight enough. I think they are, but... You did tighten it back up up here, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> he hesitates so much when he says that. Yeah, I absolutely did. Well, do you want to be the one to try it? You're on that side. Fuel. Fuel. Fuck. All right. Hopefully we have it all fixed. Let's try it one more time. Not 
nothing. Not much for brakes. What? Not much for brakes. What are you doing? movement all right so at least we're turning the wheels that is pretty big progress seems insignificant but kind of need that Sounds so good. They might need to be adjusted up in the back. Yeah, it does. All right, so we have forward and reverse and neutral. We have shit for brakes, which they could just need to be adjusted up. Hopefully that's all it is. But man, this thing sounds so good. It hit hard into drive. Ray did say that he uh, drilled something out to make it shift harder. So I think that's all that was. Take it down and try it. Yeah. The tune should be close enough to at least like putt down the road and back but we are going to lift it up and check everything else out. We know we have uh, the power steering fitting we need to tighten. I want to check to make sure the converter bolts aren't hitting because it sounded like something was kind of tapping. And uh, I think it sounds like there's still an exhaust leak, I think from one of the old uh, joints, I guess. But aside from that, big progress. We have movement. All right, so we got the fittings and everything tightened up, went over a few things. I think we're just about ready as soon as this battery charges up to take it on its first test drive. Just gonna go a little ways down the road and back and then check over everything again. Don't wanna push it too far on the first drive, especially without having a lot of gauges hooked up. Well, actually right now, no gauges hooked up because the dash is out of it. Oh, don't do that. God damn it. I gotta keep my foot on the gas. I don't know 
why before it would idle just fine. You fuck. God damn it. It seems okay now. Maybe it just needs a couple revs every now and then. stopping the brakes aren't great but they do stop us the power steering is really good I should have brought my laptop to data log this but I'm a total idiot and forgot it but we're moving that's good That little thing with the throttle's weird. Super weird, super inconvenient, super inconsistent. Super muddy driveway, we're gonna get stuck.
spunky. It doesn't feel like it's taken off from first though. On the way back, uh, just over the bridge, I pulled it down into second, it downshifted just fine, and I got into it a little bit and it felt real spunky. Yeah, I was wondering if you were gonna get on or not. I was trying to have some restraint because there's like no tune in it, but it was spunky. It had power right there. Yeah, it was blowing smoke for a while out of the left bank. Yeah, I was watching the mirrors and I was like, well, he's not flashing his light, so it can't be too bad. Well, do you want to take it out? I mean, it drives pretty good, all things considering. Try it. That shifter sucks. Probably should have known that he was gonna do that, huh? Sounds like it's still alive. Right there. Yeah, I figured it'd be open diff. Alright, I'm gonna kill it. Just the one fan? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it, uh, I can only hear it shifting twice. Yeah. The shifter sucks. Man. Yeah, the shifter's trash. God, I just barely gave a gas and I thought, okay, mud on the tires. No, it's torquey. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's torquey. It's right there. That's what I said. Like, I downshifted to second and just rolled into it, and it was like, whoop! It's right there. So, there's still a few things to be done to it, obviously, but, man. Running, driving, LS swapped, second-gen Camaro. And it sounds good.
All right, so we're going to do a little bit more tinkering on this, but I think that's where we're going to end the video here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for liking. Wait, no. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye.